Welcome to Elite Swiped Signet. This is a pretty tough one to do uh, Elite at level. It can be uh, if you're undergeared um, and got no ship buffs such as, uh, such as I do. And before I start the quest, I just want to go over <laughs> what the gear I'm using. So I'm trying to get about the best that I can do for being a complete noob on this server and uh, not having access to any plat or, or anything. So I uh, got some resistance 2 goggles, would like to have resistance 3, but just can't uh, afford it or fit it in at this time. Um, plus 2 retributed breastplate. I'd like some plus 3 breastplate, because I'd rather the higher AC than the fire guard, but the fire guard is nice, and it'll work until I find something better. Plus 3 health bracers. Plus 3 wise ring. Feather Falling Boots with Seeker 1 on it. Dodge 2% Gloves. Deadly 3 Ring. And uh, even though you know, I'm going for an Evoker build right now, I don't have any casting power at this low level. So the casting power uh, starts out really slow. And uh, so I'm doing, you know, really just meleeing uh, and using crowd control spells. So I do need that extra little bit to damage with something like a Deadly or an accuracy item won't be important for me uh, coming up uh, in a few more levels. Belt of False Life 10 would like a 15 at level 5 but again I can't afford it right now <laughs> and accuracy too because I, I, I do have uh, the extra bonus to hit is nice. So I'm pretty weak tune. Wizardry 3 Necklace give me some extra spell points and then I'm using a plus two flaming burst longsword. That's about the best you can use for a noob at this level. And a plus two heavy wooden shield of hammer block. The hammer block's not really doing anything for me, but I haven't been able to get anything better than that at this point. And I have changed my enhancements around a little bit. Uh, what I decided to do is I'm gonna go for the greater heroism did not want to lose. I could have that right now, but if, in order to get that, I wouldn't have enough points to get resilience of battle. And this is very, very important for me right now. I discussed it last video. Gives damage reduction of five across the board. Absolutely huge uh, when I got nothing else going for me. But I will have greater heroism soon. I need to get about five more action points. So what's going to make this one tough is that there are some traps in this first hallway <laughs> and then all the rogues uh, and casters and ranged uh, mobs that are in the next section. And I have terrible jump and I'm slow. no fortification yet. I'd like some, but affording stuff is tough for me. I was able to sell some more stuff in the auction house, build up a little more plat. I think I have about 15,000 plat right now. And so I have 89 potions of cure serious wounds and uh, a wand, a couple wands of cure serious wounds. And I'm trying to build up my stockpile of of these essential uh, potions that really every every tune should have. You should have a stack of lesser restoration potions. Uh, you should have a stack of of remove blindness, remove disease, a neutralize poison, and remove curse. Unless you happen to be immune to to those, you should have those things every tune. You know, if you're if you're questing with, with people and you know you're getting cursed and you do, you don't have remove curse spots, uh, you're gonna start to develop a bad reputation in this game. Uh, when at all possible you should always try to take care of yourself. Even with some you know at least minor healing I've said before in my videos you should at least have at very minimum, you know, potions of cure serious wounds. 
every tune if it, if it, you know if that's your only way to heal yourself you should have more wheels ways to heal yourself but at very minimum you should have that you should never be completely reliant on somebody else healing you unless you're broke as a joke like I was a few levels ago and could couldn't even really afford starter potions of cure light wounds <laughs> Still rocking sound burst uh, a lot, and that's great. AOE crowd control even works on these spiders a bit. My saves, my spell DCs aren't very high, so I end up having to spam it for a lot of groups. It's nice, uh, you know, I have Wand of Cure Series and Potions of Cure Series, and they're both on different cooldowns, so if I need to heal myself somewhat qu quicker, I can do both back to back instead of waiting for one to come off timer. I hate these glass spiders, it just seems like their little babies never end. Oh, and for spells, I just picked up Bull's Strength. That's the only new spell since last time. And then I have regular heroism from the enhancement line. Thirty-seven hit points. It's probably nearly as high as you could get at this level range for a tune like this. I could have plus five more from False Life. So these guys, if you don't have a way to do crowd control uh, and you can't take them out really quick, then they can be pretty tough. Starting to regret my decision to take maximize spell at level three. I, st I don't use it. I was just think trying to think uh, long term, but I kind of wish I had taken extend spell instead for the longer buffs. So I could have used that right now. Also been continuing to sell my greater essences as well as the rarer collectibles, you know, and even you know some collectibles that I'm just able to sell for a couple thousand plaids made a huge difference for me. So it all adds up.
faster. And I'm still at a point where every collectible, every broken barrel, every treasure chest is important. Which has been, it's been fun. It's challenging and, and frustrating at times, but it's been a lot of fun too. You know, hoping you get something good. And, you know, just seeing something simple as a, you know, plus two elemental weapon being a, a treasure. <laughs> being a treasured find. Or normally that would just be just vendor trash and I'm finding too that you know a lot of really simple stuff that I would normally just decon or or sold to a vendor um, you know I'm able to sell it for a few thousand plat a couple thousand plat just like simple like plus two stat items and you know plus ten false life items minimum level kind of stuff I've been selling on the auction house here and it's been selling pretty well The pawn shops have been also uh, very important too. Uh, buying and selling, making a little bit of money selling there, and then you know finding deals in there, stuff that people minimum level, you know stat items and things, and resist resistance items that people have sold. So I'm hoping to do, at least starting now at level 5, doing a video for every level. Minor circlet of blasting. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. It's funny, there are some sort of obscure rare items in these lower level quests, like Merlin's Spoon and... Stuff, like I've never pulled one of those, and others kind of like obscure rare items. I don't think I've ever seen that one. jump on this caster. Always caster first. Oh, when I got my muckbane. 
I did uh, Dirk's Got a Secret. I was going to do that as a video too, but I decided to do the other one instead. I'm pretty happy about that. It's something to whack oozes with now. Got it on the first try. teaser video I did for this series. It was a lot of fun to make. And then somebody wrote on the forums asking if I thought about using bois, that bois were very popular <laughs> in movie trailers. And he, there was a, I hadn't seen it before, but like a farcical movie trailer using, you know, just sort of over the top ridiculous sound effects. So then I took the music from that trailer and just put it right over the top of mine and with only make with only cutting out like a quarter of a second at one point to make one of the bois so to speak match up with text that was coming up on my screen it just totally worked is I thought it was pretty funny <laughs> so I have that on my channel I have the you know the, the trailer and then the the the, the spoof bois version And in the description of the Bois version, I have a link to the forum thread uh, where this was being discussed. Oh god. Sure, these darn casters cast right through the doors. It's pretty frustrating. Just run out of that, ran out of that door and that door's closed. Come on now. Guess that's better than him casting Sleet Storm on me from inside the door.
and I still am using sound burst, you know, unmaximized. It's not worth maximizing even when you get more spell points and at higher levels. It's just the little bit of extra damage is totally not worth the, the big extra cost. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. Or, if you happen to be on either one of the servers I'm on, you're welcome to send me a tell.